During this first season of the House of the Dragon, different people close to the production of the series were releasing images and drawings of deleted scenes from this program. Most of the scenes that were filmed never made it to the final version, including an alternate ending. So in this video we will be talking about all the deleted scenes from the first season of the House of the Dragon. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this review, if you want to participate in our Funka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, from which the House of the Dragon was adapted, you just have to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed on November 20th. The first images removed were those from the wedding between Alicent and King Viserys. The people in charge of makeup and costumes, were in charge of distributing these images on the internet, where you can see Alicent in her wedding dress. Among these images, there was an image in which Rhaenyra is helping Alicent to get dressed, which shows that during this wedding, Alicent and Rhaenyra had made peace. Although these scenes were filmed, they never made it to the final version. Perhaps because it didn't add much to the story. Also, during this episode a scene of Rhaenyra and Alicent fighting was supposed to be shown, after Rhaenyra realizes that Viserys has chosen her friend as his wife. It is assumed that during this fight they end up working out their problems, and Rhaenyra realizes that Alicent was only doing what she was supposed to do. This scene was removed from the series, perhaps because it was somewhat redundant, as there was already a fight between them. Another of the deleted scenes is when Kristen Cole becomes a royal guard, accepting the Oath of Chastity. Rhaenyra helps him to put on his armor. This scene, in my opinion should have been included, as Rhaenyra is the person who helps him take his vows, and then break them. This is something that would have reinforced that feeling of hatred Crispin has for Rhaenyra. The next deleted images are of the Rogue Prince. When Damon's wife lost her life to her dragon Vagar, we could see a scene in which Damon was pensive with his daughters. However, this scene is extended, and Damon hugs his daughters. This scene was eliminated, as it was possibly intended to maintain the idea that Damon was not a good father, or that he remained cold in a moment of sadness, as when he told Rhaenyra that she should not feel sadness for those who are gone. This is one of the scenes that fans have asked for the most, however, it didn't make it to the final version. Another of Damon's deleted scenes was one in which he begins to cry and throws himself into the sea, after he learns that his brother lost his life. We can see the scene of Damon on the beach, but it doesn't show us completely what happened. For me, this scene was also very important, because that time when he was on the beach, alone and with the pain of losing his brother, may have been what gave him the strength and calm to want to act at the time, against the Greens. Another deleted scene from the series, is one in which Damon's interest in other men is shown. We can see that in one of the scenes behind the camera, Damon is very close to a man, who looks very comfortable talking to Damon in this episode. For some, this scene would have been a very controversial one, and as has happened before, it was removed from the series. Although it could be something that is referenced in the future. Another deleted scene from Damon, is one that occurs during the last dinner with Viserys. According to the writers of the episode, Damon had a toast, but it was removed at the last minute. It was decided to leave only Eamon's toast. Speaking of Viserys, the actor who played the king, during an interview stated that they recorded the reaction he had, after his son and wife lost their lives. It is a moment in which Viserys realizes that he has lost everything, and is completely devastated. According to the actor, these scenes were filmed, but in the end they decided to cut it and show the funeral directly. Another of the deleted scenes that we will be able to see in the behind the scenes of the series, 
is one in which Damon and Rhaenyra arrive at King's Landing with their children. I suppose there must be hours of deleted scenes, since in these mega-productions, they usually record too much, to have extra content. However, we understand that many of the deleted scenes should have been present. But perhaps the most important scene that was eliminated is the alternate ending. Or perhaps it would be correct to say, the original ending of the first season. This first season concluded with Damon breaking the news of Lucerys passing to Rhaenyra. It's a moment of silence, where we see Rhaenyra take Damon's hand, as she walks away into the flames, and then turns away, glowing war fury in her eyes. This scene was completely changed from its official version, as the director took suggestions from Matt Smith, who plays Damon, to conclude the story somewhat differently. The original ending was revealed a few hours ago on the internet, thanks to different drawings of the scenes that were published. But then, what was the ending of the first season like? According to the drawings, Damon was approaching Rhaenyra, while she was sitting on the Dragonstone's throne, Damon proceeded to give her the news. Rhaenyra began to scream, perhaps because of the pain and anger for everything that was happening at the same time. As Damon watches her, he realizes that something changes in her. Rhaenyra stares at the camera, while a dragon is heard. It cuts to a dark scene, and Syrax is seen approaching the camera. Syrax mirrored the pain Rhaenyra was feeling, and thus concluded the first season. This ending is different from the one we were shown, as that ending was more focused on Rhaenyra's experience and her connection with Syrax. During several scenes in the last episode of the first season, we saw how Syrax felt Rhaenyra's pain, so showing Syrax feeling the loss of Lucerys would have been interesting as well. But I understand that the ending we had, was a superior one, because it doesn't end with dragons or screams, it's a more subtle ending. Rhaenyra finds out what happened to her son, she takes Damon's hand, then she touches her belly, because she knows she has lost one of her own, and she turns around with a look that shows her desire for revenge. In my opinion the ending we had was better, as it allows us to process this moment without distractions. A few days ago, the creator of the House of the Dragon, George Martin, stated that there are many deleted scenes, and that we could possibly see them on the Blu-ray. Although, there is a possibility that we may see some of these scenes in flashbacks, in the upcoming seasons. We will be watching for more of these scenes to be released, and we will be analyzing them together on this channel. But tell me what you think about all this. Would you have liked to see these scenes in the series? Or do you think it was perfect the way it was? In my opinion, I'm comfortable with how they decided to do it, although as I mentioned, some scenes were very important, and I think it gave weight to the story. But what is your opinion about it? And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on. The Three-Eyed Raven.